so moving on to ethiopia a lot has happened my people between january and now officials of ethiopia have released more than 3,000 political activists and journalists from prison i was like whoa 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 and this includes bekele gaba <laughs> Bikele Garba, who is the Secretary General of the Oromo Federalist Congress, addressed thousands of his supporters and urged them to continue with their peaceful protest until all political prisoners were released. Merera Gudina. Merera Gudina is a hero to his supporters, and thousands of excited well wishers formed a guard of honor to escort his convoy the nine miles from the detention center on the outskirts of Addis Ababa to his home. As well as Eskinda Nega. I was like, what? Eskinda Nega has released? Oh! I was so happy. This man is a journalist and he's been in prison for seven years. In fact, not long ago, they wanted him to make a false confession and he refused. My brother, you are welcome. We are so excited. We've been looking forward to your release. Ah, it's okay. I know that you don't know me. Now, <laughs> and then out of the blue, the Prime Minister, Haile Mariam de Salane, announced his resignation. I was like, what is going on? It looks like there is a revolution going on on the continent because his announcement came the very next day after Jacob Zuma decided to step down. Woo, for that. Unrest and political crisis have led to the loss of lives and the displacement of many. I see my stepping down as vital in the effort to carry out reforms that lead to sustainable peace. Of course, people were surprised. A lot of people were celebrating. I was really surprised too. I'm like, what? He decided to stop now. We were still thinking about that when we suddenly heard that the government has declared a six-month state of emergency. I'm like, hey, Baba, they have started. This is the second state of emergency between 2016 and now. Why now? What is going on in Ethiopia? For the next six months, they said that people cannot prepare, print, or circulate any information for protest. They, they can't even protest, not to talk about making flyers. And then some businesses are closed and some public services will be shut down for the next six months and the government can decide to shut down the media and impose curfew on the people. I'm like, what? And then the government announced that, oh, this state of emergency is necessary in order to stop the wave of anti-government protest. I'm like, shoo, really? As you know, many people have been killed in the last three years of protest in Ethiopia. So obviously they want to crush the protest. People are not giving up. They are saying that they want a change in Ethiopia. They want a change from the TPLF government. So huge congrats to the journalists that were released as well as the activists that were released. We're so happy for you guys and your family members. However, is this state of emergency necessary? I don't think it is, but I like to hear from Ethiopians. And also, did the prime minister completely relinquish power? So please leave a comment below. You guys know I don't know much. Guess what? I'm just keeping it real. <laughs>